no lock is more beautiful than the next and i feel like that should be the true message of this video hey y'all welcome back this is locks with kayla i am kayla thank you so much for tuning in to my videos don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can be updated weekly on which videos are coming out next so this week i will be covering the differences between micro locks sister locks and traditional locks i see this question all the time no matter if it's on facebook groups on instagram or at consultations so i feel that it's definitely necessary that i do a video as a consultant tackling this question so i'm gonna just get right to it there's only really four differences which is why i feel like it's so controversial as a whole the answer to this question so number one the grid the grid the grid the grid the grid this is like one of the most important things that sets sister lots traditional lots and micro lots apart because sister lots is patent that's number four sister locks is just sister locks like standard no disputing what sister locks is it is a science like period you wouldn't dispute what multiplication versus division is because it's a patent so i'm gonna show you guys the sister lock size card this is the size card as you can see it says large medium and small and that down there says locks are too large that box takes you out of the sister locks bracket if any of your locks are larger than this square you are technically considered to not have sister locks because when you make your hair in this grid in these parting sizes the grid flows in a specific way that is only standard to sister locks and that is why i cannot go too far into it because that is what you learn at the sister locks class as you have to pay for that so point blank period the grid is one of the things that separates sister locks from traditional locks from micro locks the only form that sister locks is parted in is squares traditional locks can be parted in diamonds they can be parted in triangles they can be parted in octagons same goes for micro locks now with sizing i'm just trickling into number two one and two are kind of in one a little bit because with parting with the grid you have to have sizes they go hand in hand so when you have sizes that are bigger than this once again you can have either traditional lots or micro lots micro lots are pretty much the small size of traditional locks so if you have a head full of really small locks you most likely have micro lots i have traditional lots i have a larger set of locks they are traditional locks so that is one and two number three the technique that you use to lock your hair if you have done coils if you have done palm rolling if you have done anything other than interlocking i'm gonna say you don't have sister locks at all if you got something done to your hair that was like braiding or anything that was not the sister locks technique that is once again patented you do not have sister locks so just x that one out but if you are getting coils if you are getting braid locks if you are getting twist two strand twist any of those can be micro locks or traditional locks but the main differentiation or main thing that makes traditional locks and micro locks separate is the sizing so once again to get out of having sister locks you have to have an incorrect grid or a grid that has a different parting style other than squares you have to have locks that are larger than what I showed you on the size card. And you have to have parts that are not either that are not in squares. So if you don't have those things, you do not have sister locks. If you have micro locks, your micro locks have either been interlocked or pretty much just interlocked uh, or um, twist locked because the way that they start micro locks varies just like the way that they start traditional locks varies the parting size and the parting style varies traditional locks parting size and style varies so there's only really one thing that separates micro locks from traditional locks and that is the sizing of the locks 
So don't get too crazy about if you have micro locks or traditional locks or even if you have micro locks or sister locks because once again if you really want to know what makes sister locks sister locks by the book watch my video here that talks about sister locks by the book the sizing the technique the tool all of that so um i don't want to offend anyone by this video please feel free to comment below if you feel like you have anything to input or if there's anything that i left out subscribe to my channel so that you can be updated weekly on things that i'm talking about next i love you all we're all a family all of my locked queens we are all in this together no lock is more beautiful than the next and i feel like that should be the true message of this video we are all empowered we're all strutting our natural hair so love it live in it and yeah i just wanted to make this video so if anyone who was confused on starting their journey what they could get out of it or what to expect this is for you love you all see you all next week like my video <laughs>